Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're doing a solo overnighter in a rock overhang. So stick around, we have an outstanding show coming up. Here we are once again. High of 62, low of 45. Another beautiful day in the woods. Another COVID free video coming your way right now. All right, check this out. A few months ago, I put up a video titled Solo Overnight in a Natural Rock Shelter. And for the most part, it was outstanding. It was a natural rock outcropping or an overhang. Crawled inside there, put some browse beds down, long fire, windscreen, and it was good to go. I believe we had bacon wrapped tenderloins, I think it was for that video. And that was outstanding as well. Um, I'm on this natural shelter kick. And to be brutally honest, anytime you're gonna put up a shelter, meaning a tarp or something other than a tent, should be something natural. Either 100% ready to go where you just crawl inside and you're good to go, or 40 to 70% complete, where all you gotta do is add a wall or a tarp and you're good for the night. So moving through this woods right here, I went and looked out and I found a natural rock outcropping and it looks promising. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I'm liking this. So check this out. We got a natural windbreak or windscreen with this wall right here. Slight overhang. We have a rock wall there. So in reality, all I have to do is level this area out. Maybe build a small wall right there. Put a tarp right here. And we're good to go. Maybe a fire out over here. I'm liking it. So the one thing I'm thinking about, I'm looking around here and there's plenty of rocks everywhere, covered in moss. They're all over the place. The one thing I haven't built with yet is rocks. So why not save some trees, level this area out, level that off with some paving stones, maybe a rock reflector, maybe even a rocket stove if I have time. Um, I think it'd be outstanding. But check this out real quick. Looking over here, we have a natural ridge or shelf right here. There's also one above it. So I'm thinking, do something different with our tarp. Instead of putting up a ridge line somewhere and trying to rig something up, why not frame the tarp out? So in since we have a hardened lid or a hardened roof, slide it in here on one of these natural shelves, prop it up, get that convective heat blowing around me from that fire, radiating off the back wall in our tarp, I think we're good to go. The browse bed. Now I've done this several times, but I've never really explained it. 
Making a browse bed does three things. First off, it increases your comfort level. Taking those dry leaves, put them inside my 55 gallon drum lighters, minimum two of those, and putting them front to back creates an improvised mattress. Then taking my thermo rest, laying it on top, guarantees me that added layer of comfort. I'm off the ground. It prevents conduction or my body's contact with that cold ground, whisking that body heat off of me. Number two, the area is cleaned out. So if wind were to pick up and embers were to float around, chances of it hitting those dry leaves and causing a forest fire or causing a fire to spread are slim to none. The third thing it does, and this is one of the most important ones, is in the morning when I want to break camp, I can empty those bags across my area and basically return the landscape exactly how I found it. Okay, time to make our hardened roof. We're taking our tarp, we're laying it down. Reflective side up. Grab two seven foot poles, run them horizontally top and bottom between our grommets. Two horizontally on the sides between our grommets. Maybe one or two stiffeners in between. And like everything else, all the knots are transferable. We're gonna secure it with a simple arbor knot or jam knot. out there, past them trees. Busted. I see you. That's what I'm talking about. So, once again, simplicity at its best, okay? Let's go ahead and talk about this tarp real quick. We framed it out. That way it's gonna give it a little bit more, well, make it more rigid, okay? Um, there's nowhere to tie a ridge line off, so if you can't tie a ridge line and you wanna use a tarp, this method right here will never fail you. Only problem I see, I'm gonna address this because I'm sure someone's gonna blow up the comment section, well, if it rains, the water's gonna run down this side. You're absolutely right. In a situation like this, there's nothing that I can really do if I wanted to sleep right here. Now, the one good thing though, is the tarp slopes this way and that way. So the water can be carried down past my body over to these rocks where it can run down this side over here.
Woods burned down to coals, chow time. So what are we talking about here? We've already done the double bacon cheese potato and that was outstanding. But I wanna do it again. And this time I wanna add an egg. So I'm thinking, get a potato, wrap it in foil, toss it in them coals. 25, 30 minutes, nice and soft, good to go. Hollow it out at least halfway. Layer of cheese, layer of bacon, an egg sunny side up. Once that's cooked, a little more cheese, bacon crumbles, we're good to go. Heart attack style. Welcome to Corporal's. Mm. Tell you what, this is a work of art, a masterpiece. Check that out. Now for the secret ingredient, Tabasco. Some people are triggered right now. Tabasco, get a rope. Well, tell you what. Tabasco is outstanding. Now for the taste test. Bacon, egg, wild onions, cheese, 
sunny side up. Oh my god. I think that potato was good before. It was missing that egg. Mmm. Kind of like Lebowski's rug. It tied the whole room together. Wow. Oh. Once again, at Corporal's, we guarantee a triple bypass or heart attack or stroke or your money back. Oh. Everybody keeps asking me, can you show us how you do your dishes? Well, take the skillet, stick it on the fire. Simply cook everything off of it and then scrape it clean. Done deal. No. All right, man. I'm wiped out. Well, the shelter's doing its job. The heat, just that small fire right there, is already radiating off, bouncing off on me. I can feel it back here. Be warm and toasty all night. Tell you what, double bacon, wild edible onions, cheese, and egg sunny side up with a bacon and cheese topper and Tabasco. I'm done, man. I am done. Ugh. Okay, so first order of business. Check this out. Talked about this before, and we'll go ahead and reiterate it real quick. My platform is called Thinkific. That's the online platform I'm gonna use for my online classes. So right now, as you're watching this video, I'm already two or three days in on filming videos for that uh, platform, for my classes. So to be safe, I wanna say somewhere around this time in June. So mid-June, I should have a launch date for the classes. I don't wanna just put up rinky-dink classes that are just, you know, how to tie a bowl, and I don't wanna do that kind of stuff. I wanna do actual legit classes that are broke up anywhere from five to 10 minute segments that you can get and actually go through it by the numbers and learn something. Um, I don't want it to be just some glorified YouTube video and that's it. Um, I don't want that, and I'm sure you don't want that. So just give me time. This time next month, it should be good to go, um, and I'll keep giving you weekly updates. And that's it. Take a wet towel or a damp rag, just wipe it out, and you're good for next time. So, for those that don't know, I bought a boat. Nothing big, it's more of a glorified raft, but this will open the door to other types of overnighters as well. Um, getting out there on the water, doing some fishing, going to some islands. Um, Overall, I mean, it's not a pack raft by any means, so I'm gonna have to probably drop it off somewhere and, and actually air the thing up, but it seats like six people, so um, I'm looking forward to that. Once the coronavirus scare is over, okay, I'm gonna start meeting up with other people for collab videos, different states, different types of terrain, things like that. So we'll be changing it up here and there. So I appreciate everybody who's watching continuing to watch. Um, without you, I'm nothing, and I truly mean that. So, once again, um, all the new subs, welcome. All the old subs, thanks for sticking around. We're only going to get bigger and better. I know what's worse. Oh, that potato settling, getting me all tired, or the heat from that fire, or both. Wow. Mm. Double bacon, egg sunny side up, cheese potato. You gotta think about that. Potatoes themselves have everything inside them to sustain life. Then you add everything else to it. I mean, the potato alone can sustain life. I mean, ask Matt Damon.
three nights in a row, three rabbits, three different locations. It's got to mean something. Oh, man. It dumped last night, and I am completely dry. And just like I said, the water ran off down over here. Look at that. Wow. Outstanding. Coffee time. Tell you what, this climate pillow, the swag man roll, the outstanding night's sleep. It rained from about 2 a.m. till about 6.30 this morning, and I'm bone dry. Hmm. Irish cream coffee. Hmm, outstanding. Go ahead and talk about the shelter real quick. So we found a well, numerous rock outcropping. There's like one here, here, one back over there. Kind of like a rock overhang um, with these ridges inside here or natural shelves. Framed out a tarp, wedged it in there, propped that corner up, tied that corner off, and once again, it's a five by seven space blanket. Arcturus or Pathfinder tarp and tell you what I'm bone dry so and it rained for a good four hours at least four hours I mean everything out here is just soaked but I stayed dry so once again I know it triggers some people and people say well, you need a bigger tarp I do need a bigger tarp and I have several bigger tarps but again my challenge is to inspire you and show you what you can do with a minimum kit and Something simple like this, that's 17 to 20 bucks, and you can do all these things with it. Stay dry, stay warm, lightweight, um, and it's meant for emergency purposes. <laughs> Why not have one? And have an idea of what you can do with it. This coffee's really good.
Welcome back. Last night's shelter build was outstanding, and it was fun too. And that's what it's all about. Getting out here, practicing those skills, honing those skills, and eventually owning those skills. Doing something until you can't do it wrong. Like I said before, anytime you come across a natural structure like this, where you can utilize those natural or existing features, jump on it. Could be a time saver and a life saver as well. As always, all the gear in this video can be found on my Amazon Influencer page or my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. Both those links will be inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.